What are you willing to die for, suffer for, and sacrifice for? Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. You know, throughout my years, I've seen a lot of brothers die, a lot of brothers sacrifice, and a lot of brothers suffer for different things. Uh, you know, they've given up their lives, they've sacrificed their lives, they've, they've suffered, their lives have suffered for different things. But the problem with that is most of these guys, a vast majority of these men, did not choose the way to go, the way what to sacrifice or what they're gonna suffer over. It wasn't rooted in a conscious decision. More so than often it was, it was them being a follower, them being emotional. And I'm telling you, you gotta choose your sacrifice you gotta choose what you're willing to suffer over. You gotta choose what you're willing to die over in order to live an abundant life. A uh, lot of brothers going through it, man, because they didn't consciously think and get to know themselves and ask themselves, what am I willing to die for? What am I willing to suffer for? What am I willing to sacrifice? And I, I touch on this in Drink One and A Toast to the Man. I touch on this and that's where we fail. That's where we, we fall from a lack of understanding. And that understanding is knowing ourselves. You got to know your dark side. You got to know your light side. You got to know what I am I willing to doubt for. And if you sit down and really question yourself, um, and really get to know yourself, you'll find out, man, what I thought I was willing to die for, it just ain't that important. And no, I don't wanna suffer in that regard. And, and no, I'm not willing to sacrifice that over that. But we're ripping and running so much. We're moving and grooving. Our boat, our life is not anchored and it's not attached, the anchor is not attached to our goals, our God-given gift and talents. And so therefore we drift, and I touched on this in the last video, we drift from a lack of understanding. When you understand the assignment, you understand who you are, that gives you direction. That gives you stabilization, an anchor. And from that, you can do anything. Uh, when you choose, when you consciously choose your sacrifice, consciously choose what you're willing to die for, that's when you begin to live. That's when you really begin to live. Uh, pain, pain is love. The chosen pain. Don't let life choose your sacrifice. Don't let life and circumstances choose your pain, your sacrifice. You have to consciously choose it. And that's gonna, when you go into that darkness, that's gonna bring out enlightenment. That's gonna bring out manifestation. When you consciously choose what you're willing to sacrifice because you're gonna be so indebted, so invested, so focused and you're going to have a different mindset. You're going to know why you're doing this, why you're suffering, why you're sacrificing. When you allow life and circumstances choose your sacrifice, man, you end up so frustrated and your mind is just everywhere. It's, 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 it's uh, foggy, it's cluttered, you know, it's not orderly because you didn't choose that sacrifice. You didn't choose the way to suffer. You didn't choose what you're willing to die for. And, uh, you know, what motivates this video, I man, I was just listening to a video or watching a video, I guess watching and listening to a, a video that uh, Birdman, uh, 
the CEO of Cash Money slash rapper slash entrepreneur. Uh, he was on the show, the podcast, uh, Big Facts. And I've heard him make this statement before, but it really resonated with me today for some reason. And uh, they asked him, why, why have you had longevity in the rap game, in the music business? And he has. He's done it longer on a high level than anyone. I mean, he surpassed Jay-Z in music as far as putting out hits and, and uh, constantly being on top in the music game in the music game and making other people wealthy and just being relevant, being at the top of the game. He, he's done it longer than anyone, uh, probably what, 25, 30 years now. He surpassed Puffy, uh, Jermaine Dupree, Suge Knight, Jay Prince. Um, I know we go on and on, right? Uh, Barry Gordy, uh, L.A. Reid, anyone you want to name in the music, just music. We're not talking about anything outside of music, just music. He's done it longer than anyone by far. And uh, as far as having success, uh, from an artist standpoint and an exec executive standpoint, putting other people on, making other people wealthy, giving other people uh, the spotlight, no one's done it better than him. And they asked him, you know, what is the thing that... Uh, that catapulted you to to go so far, to be so relevant today. And he said, well, you know, when people started quitting and retiring from the music business, I kept going. He said, it created more room for me. He said, I didn't understand why they were quitting. He said, but it created more room for me, made me even more money. He said, but I'm here to do this. He said, I'm willing to, to die for this. And I'm willing to kill for this, if so be it. Uh, that's a guy choosing, choosing his sacrifice, choosing the way he's willing to go, choosing the way he's willing to suffer. And he's done some suffering. He's done a lot of sacrificing also. But he said he's willing to die for it. He's willing to kill for it, if need be. And... Uh, that's where you got to be. That's why. That's where you got to be. You got to choose your fate. You got to choose your fate. You got to choose the way to go. Man, I, you know, Jesus mentions this throughout, you know, you know, the Bible that he, he's choosing his death. He's choosing his sacrifice. He's choosing the way to go. He's choosing to suffer. You know, no one's taking his life. He, he lays down his life. I've heard a, a rap lyric by by uh, Tupac. Uh, I can't remember verbatim, but he he mentions or, or alludes to choosing the way to go, and that's where you truly get living. That's where you truly get life, and live a life worth remembering, because you did it your way. Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. Uh, that's the way to live. Don't go with the flow. Drop your anchor and let your anchor be attached to your God given gifts and talents. And those, those uh, are the things you have to be willing to die for and sacrifice for and suffer for. Uh, me, storytelling, writing, reaching people, uh, I'm willing to die for that. I'm willing to, to sacrifice. I'm willing to kill for that. For that, for that freedom. Uh, you take that away from me. That's my God-given gift of talent. You know, you, you might as well kill me. Uh, that's how you got to be. That's going to give you true liberation, true freedom. Now, so question yourself, ask yourself, you know, what am I willing to die for? What am I, what am I willing to kill for? You know, people don't like to talk about killing, right? And I'm not saying murder, I'm saying killing. But there's a such thing as a righteous kill, too. I want you to look that up. And so, you know, there's a season for everything. Season to, to kill, season to let live. Uh, that could be touchy for some people, but there is a such thing as a righteous kill. 
but uh, I won't get into that. Look that up. But yeah, let me let me know what you think about this in the comments. As always, from me to you, love, peace.